Hello, good morning. So today I'd like to talk to you about um, this very famous statement of Jesus in the Sermon of the Mount, which is taken from the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 5, from verses 13 to 16. In this scripture, Jesus says, You are the salt of the earth and the light of the world. You are the salt of the earth and the light of the world. And by the way, I'm standing today, I'm trying out a few things. Uh, some of you have suggested that it's better for you when I'm standing. And some others have said that it, you prefer that I, I sit. So I'm just trying out, you know, different things. Continue to let me know what you think and hopefully we will continue to improve these videos. So here are three things today about being the salt of the earth and also three things about being the light of the world. Salt, in the time of Jesus, of course, was a measure of payment, was a measure of payment. So when Jesus says you are the salt of the earth, he's trying to tell you that you are the model that people should look up to. You are the standard. So as children of God, we should strive to continuously be the standard. Second thing that the salt, that salt was used for in the time of Jesus was as a preservative. Salt was used to preserve food from decay. That simply means that we should be in the world as active agents preventing our world from degradation and corruption. The third thing about salt that in the time of Jesus, salt was also used as a flavor. Of course, we still use it today as a flavor to sweeten food. So that also means that we are supposed to go out in the world and add some sweetness to the world, fight against and try to remove bitterness from our world. So those are three things I'd like to share with you about being salt of the earth. And Jesus also goes ahead to say, you are the light of the world. You are the light of the world. What does that mean? To be the light of the world means also a number of things. So let me also share with you just three of them. The first, of course, is that, the first thing I'd like to say is that we should remember that in the time of Jesus, the principal source of light was the sun. The principal source of light was the sun. So what does the sun do? What did the sun do in the time of Jesus? Obviously, the first thing is that um, light dispels darkness. Light dispels darkness. If I say to you that there's a lot of darkness in the world, I'm sure I'm not teaching you anything new. I'm not seeing anything surprising. There's a lot of darkness in our world. There's a lot of hate, a lot of racism, a lot of injustice, a lot of corruption. So instead of just being there and uh, complaining about the darkness, the Lord invites us to turn on our lights and be the light and the source of light in our world. The second thing that it's important to say about being the light of the world is that the light, the sun, in the time of Jesus as it is today, is what gives nourishment to all of the plants. Imagine without what would have happened to our world without the sun, without photosynthesis. I mean, all the plants of the earth gather their energy and their nourishment from the sun, and then they are able to make our ecosystem function. In the same way, we are supposed to nourish the earth, we are supposed to nourish the people around us, we are supposed to be able to help people to grow, just as the sun helps plants to grow, we should also help people to grow. The third and final thing I'd like to say about being the light of the world is that we should stop hiding. We should stop hiding. Jesus says in that scripture that a city uh, set on a hilltop cannot be hidden. A city set on a hilltop cannot be hidden. And then he also says that you do not turn on a lamp in order to hide it under the bushel. When you turn on a lamp, you put it on a lampstand so that everyone can see by it. Child of God, we need to stop hiding. When there is something evil going on, let us speak up. When there is something bad happening around us, let us try to do something about it. And let's stop thinking that by just hiding away that evil is going to pass. Evil is never going to pass. It's going to wait until we all decide to stand up and do something. Never forget that we are the light of the, we are the light of the world and the salt of the earth. That's the message that the Lord wanted us wants us to read, to keep in our minds today. And I hope that your day will be beautiful, that God Himself will light up your life, and that you will have a great, great day. So keep praying, keep being light, and keep being the salt of the earth. And the Almighty God bless you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.